concussion and traumatic brain injury in general is essentially a clinical diagnosis. Based on the fact that they had a head injury and that they have some symptoms related to it, which could be anything from headache to dizziness to a little bit of amnesia, they're diagnosed with a concussion. Those people might have brain imaging. They might have a CAT scan. They might have a regular sort of MRI of the brain. But we typically expect that those are going to be normal. The key findings of this study are that we took a, an existing technique called diffusion tensor imaging, which allows us to look at the brain and detect what's essentially microscopic injury to the brain tissue. And we've developed a technique that allows us to look at an individual patient that has had an injury and detect where the problems are in their brain. Diffusion tensor imaging is a, an MRI technique which allows us to measure the direction that water molecules are moving through tissue. As we would have expected in looking at these individuals, we found multiple areas where the fractional anisotropy was abnormally low. What was interesting is that we also found quite extensive, at all points in time, areas of abnormally elevated FA. And these were in different locations, but at the same time in the same patient. That's a curious finding that we're not exactly sure what it means, but we hypothesize that it actually may be a compensatory response that is indicating something about the way the brain is trying to compensate for the areas of injury. One of its biggest values is providing additional clinical information in the assessment of patients. This technique essentially reveals those abnormalities and makes them potentially available for the radiologist to be able to use as additional information in making an assessment of the patient.